In this example, I need to find the exact value of the sine of 157.5 degrees times the cosine of 157.5 degrees. Normally, when we see exact value in a trigonometric expression, it means use the unit circle over here. But if I look on the unit circle, 157.5 degrees is somewhere in here, so I don't have accurate points for that angle. So how are we going to solve this problem? A big hint on how to solve this problem comes from this 0.5 of a degree. If you notice, all the angles on the unit circle in degrees are whole numbers. So somehow I need to turn this angle into a whole number. Well, what happens if I multiply 2 times my given angle of 157.5 degrees? What is 2 times 157.5 degrees? It's 315 degrees. Now, is 315 degrees on the unit circle? Yes, it is over here. So I might be able to use a double angle formula. And here are the double angle identities for the sine of 2a, the cosine of 2a, and the tangent of 2a. Do any of them look like this pattern here, where I have the sine of an angle times the cosine of an angle? Notice the sine of 2a is 2 times sine a cosine a. So I have this part of the identity. I'm just missing the 2. But we can fix that using the fact that 1 half times 2 Turn 2 into a fraction by dividing by 1. What's 1 half of 2? The 2's reduce. I just get 1 over 1, which is 1. So what I can do is take the expression that we need to evaluate, and I'm going to multiply in front by 1 half, and then inside the parentheses I'm going to have 2 because 1 half times 2 is 1. And then I'm going to have the sine of 157.5 degrees times the cosine of 157.5 degrees. So now this equals 1 half, and instead of 2 sine 157.5 degrees times the cosine of that angle, I'm going to use this double angle formula and remember, in this case, A is equal to 157.5 degrees. So I'm going to have 1 half times the quantity, the sine of 2 times A. So it's 2 times 157.5 degrees. So now this is just 1 half times the sine of 2 times 157.5 is 315 degrees. Now I can just say this is 1 half times the sine of 315 degrees. That is the y coordinate of the point on the unit circle. So the y coordinate is negative the square root of 2 over 2. So simplifying a positive times a negative is a negative. 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. Divided by 2 times 2 is 4. So that is the exact value for the expression we were given. Don't forget, you can check your answer on the calculator. I'm going to pause the video for a second. So here is my calculator. The first thing I need to do is check the mode. It's in radians. Scroll down, over until the degrees are highlighted, and then press Enter. Quit that screen, and now let's find the sine of 157.5 degrees times the cosine of 157.5 degrees. So I have the sine of 157.5 degrees, close parentheses, 
times you can put times in you don't have to I'm going to in this case the cosine of 157.5 degrees close parentheses hit enter there's the approximate value now let's see if this value matches it so I need the negative remember this is the negative that's the operation of subtraction so the negative square root of 2, so second x squared, 2. Notice I'm still under the radical sign, arrow over, so that's negative the square root of 2 divided by 4. Then hit enter. Do these two numbers match? Yes, so that's a good check on this problem.